Traffic Sign Assist supports you by detecting speed limits and overtaking restrictions and showing them in the display. It also warns you if you're turning into a road in the wrong direction. The traffic signs are detected by the camera at the top of the windscreen. The general traffic laws and data from the navigation system are also used for the evaluation. You can switch Traffic Line Assist on and off in the Settings menu under Assistance in the onboard computer. When you pass a traffic sign, the corresponding traffic regulation is shown in the display for 5 seconds. The previous menu then appears. If the assistance graphic is also activated, any traffic signs detected are displayed continuously. In navigation mode, the traffic signs are also displayed on the command display. The camera also detects traffic signs with restrictions and displays these if the regulation must be observed or the restriction applies. If you drive into a section of road in the wrong direction, Traffic Assist will warn you visually and acoustically. In the event of a warning, immediately check the direction in which you're driving. The display may be updated, despite there being no visible traffic signs. This may be the case, for example, if you change roads, leave or enter a town, or the last traffic sign detected has not been repeated. Bear in mind that Traffic Sign Assist is only an aid to assist you. The system may be impaired in the event of ambiguous or dirty traffic signs, poor visibility, or if the camera is dirty. The Distance Pilot Distronic helps the driver to maintain a certain speed and relative distance to other road users. In stop-and-go traffic, it assists the driver by moving off again automatically from a complete stop once traffic starts to flow again. On the open road, the Distance Pilot Distronic maintains the speed preset by the driver by accelerating or braking as required. If the vehicle approaches a slower moving road user or a stationary vehicle, the function automatically and safely brakes the vehicle, if necessary, to a complete stop. Depending on the type of road, the system then remains ready to move off for a longer period of time, with a space ahead of the vehicle monitored by several sensors. Once the traffic starts to move again, the system accelerates the vehicle to the previous set speed and automatically maintains distance to the vehicle ahead without any action on the part of the driver. The Speed Limit Pilot recognizes speed limits and automatically adjusts the vehicle speed to the prescribed limit. Speed limits, as recognized via the camera or navigation system, are automatically adopted as the set speed by the Distance Pilot Distronic. The recognized speed limit is shown in the instrument cluster and adopted by the Distance Pilot Distronic. Using the camera, traffic sign recognition also extends to overhead gantries and temporary roadworks. Via the navigation system, implicit speed limits such as 100 km per hour on country roads or 50 km per hour in built-up areas can be recognized and are proactively taken into account, for example before entering towns. The steering pilot assists the driver with lateral control by helping to keep the vehicle in the center of its lane. On registering the lane markings, the system keeps the vehicle in its lane up to a speed of 210 km per hour, even in slight bends. When the lane markings are unclear, for example where there are roadworks, the system is still able to remain active by taking into account other vehicles and parallel structures such as guardrails and barriers. Even without markings, under suitable circumstances, the lateral guidance function assists the driver up to 130 km per hour. This intelligent swarm behavior greatly improves the standard of driving. 
Active Lane Change Assist assists the driver when overtaking or when moving to an adjacent lane. As soon as the driver activates the indicator for at least two seconds, the system assists with steering into the desired adjacent lane, as long as the sensors detect no vehicles in the safety zone. Active Lane Change Assist works on multi-lane roads, which have been identified by the navigation module integrated into Command Online at speeds between 80 and 180 km per hour. Active Emergency Stop Assist breaks the vehicle to a standstill in its lane if it detects that the driver is no longer able to take control of the vehicle while moving. If the driver does not operate the steering wheel over a longer period while the steering pilot is active, the system gives the driver a visual and audible prompt to place his or her hands on the wheel. If there is no driver reaction by steering, accelerating, braking or operating the touch control button on the steering wheel after several visual and acoustic warnings, the vehicle brakes to a standstill in its lane. At speeds below 60 km per hour, following traffic is warned via activation of the hazard warning flashes. The function is cancelled if the driver resumes control of the vehicle. Collision Prevention Assist consists of the Distance Warning function and Adaptive Brake Assist. The assistance system can help minimize the risk of a collision with a vehicle traveling in front. To activate or deactivate the assistance system, navigate to the Assistance menu and select the Distance Warning menu item. If Collision Prevention Assist is deactivated, this will be shown in the Assistance Graphic menu by the corresponding symbol. At speeds of around 30 km per hour or more, a warning lamp in the instrument cluster indicates if the distance maintained to the vehicle driving in front is insufficient over several seconds. If you very quickly approach a vehicle driving in front of you from a speed of around 7 km per hour, you will additionally be warned by means of an intermittent tone. React the warning by braking immediately or taking evasive action provided it is safe to do so. Adaptive Brake Assist provides braking assistance in hazardous situations at speeds above 7 km per hour by suitably reinforcing the braking pressure specified by you. The assistance system receives help from the radar sensors in order to recognize obstacles and calculate the required braking pressure. If the brake pressure is not sufficient to avoid a collision, it will be boosted by adaptive brake assist. During full application of the brakes, ABS prevents the wheels from locking. As soon as you release the brake pedal again, and the danger of a front-end collision has passed, adaptive brake assist is deactivated and the brake functions as normal again. If you do not react to the warning, Collision Prevention Assist Plus may initiate autonomous braking on vehicles with Distronic Plus in order to minimize the danger of collision or the effects of an accident. The assistance system is only an aid and may be impaired by various factors. Therefore, always pay attention to traffic conditions and your surroundings. In addition to Active Parking Assist and Parktronic, the surround view of the 360-degree camera also supports you when parking by serving as a convenient visual parking and manoeuvring aid. The 360-degree camera is a system with four cameras which analyzes the images from the reversing camera, the front camera, and a camera in each of the exterior mirrors. 
The cameras cover the immediate surroundings of the vehicle. In the Command display, you can select between full-screen modes and various split-screen views. To activate the 360-degree camera, press and hold the Function button for two seconds. Alternatively, you can use the Function button to access the vehicle menu and then select 360-degree camera using the Command controller. Depending on whether transmission position D or R is selected, the command display shows a split screen with top view and the image from the front or reversing camera. You can also show images from the 360 degree camera automatically by engaging reverse gear. To do so, the activate automatically in reverse gear function must be selected in command online. The area behind the vehicle is shown with guidelines in the command display and the top view is displayed as a split screen. To change the split screen view, slide and then turn the command controller to select one of the vehicle symbols. Only use the guidelines for orientation and do not pass the bottom guideline when approaching objects. Bear in mind that the 360-degree camera is only an aid and is not a substitute for attentive driving. Distronic Plus with Steering Assist regulates the speed of your vehicle for you and automatically helps you maintain the distance to a vehicle detected in front. Steering Assist can help you to keep the vehicle in the centre of the lane by means of moderate steering interventions. To activate Distronic Plus, briefly pull the cruise control lever towards you, up or down. You can activate the Assistance Graphic Display by selecting the Assistance Graphic menu item in the Instrument Cluster. When Distronic Plus is activated, the specified minimum distance selected is displayed in the Instrument Cluster. The illuminated segments in the speedometer represent the range between the speed of the vehicle in front and your set speed. If you're approaching the vehicle in front, Distronic Plus reduces your speed automatically. You can increase or decrease the desired distance by turning the cruise control lever. To deactivate Distronic Plus, push the cruise control lever forwards or depress the brake pedal. Please note that Distronic Plus may not be able to detect other road users if, for example, they're driving on a different line or changing lanes. If your vehicle is equipped with Distronic Plus with Steering Assist and Stop and Go Pilot, it can assist you by means of moderate steering interventions. Use the button next to the steering wheel to activate or deactivate Distronic Plus Steer Assist. If the indicator lamp lights up, the assistance system is activated. Steering Assist supports you at speeds between 0 and 200 km per hour. The system is switched to passive and no longer assists you by means of steering interventions if you actively change lane, you activate a turn signal, you do not steer for a prolonged period of time, you take your hands off the steering wheel. Bear in mind that Distronic Plus and Steering Assist are only aids. You are responsible for vehicle speed, distances, braking in good time and staying in lane. 